We're going to talk about barrels, rifle barrels. We're going to talk about material of rifle barrels, the accuracy life of barrels. One of the reasons I'm going to talk about this is from my experience building and barreling thousands of rifles over the greatest share of my lifetime. I've had rifles that I built or rifles with factory barrels on them that had a certain accuracy potential. Let's say that the Let's say that the barrel shot half inch groups. I've been shooting this and we've been using this rifle for quite a lot of years or the client's been using this. All of a sudden it gets a hold of me after using it for a number of years. My rifle's not shooting. I think something's wrong with my rifle. Well, first thing I want to know, I want to know how many, how many rounds have been shot through that barrel. I want to know exactly the components that have been used to shoot in this particular barrel. People have, I feel, a lot of misinformation on the life of a rifle barrel. This is coming up more and more and more because we're being led to believe that certain cartridges, certain cartridges give us a greater barrel life than other cartridges. Where this really seems to surface is since the 6.5 Creedmoor was brought out. A 6.5 Creedmoor burns 40 some odd grains of powder, depending on the exact burn rate of powder that you use with whatever bullet weight. And the idea has seemed to have been all these years that it's, that it's high velocities. Well, high velocities have, have an effect and have a play in how long a rifle barrel lasts. It should be quite obvious that a cartridge that burns 40 grains of powder will have probably a reasonably longer accuracy, I'm talking about accuracy barrel life. If it shoots a half inch, when that rifle barrel changes to a larger size group than that, we know that something's changing. It's probably, the life of that barrel is probably seeing coming towards its end. Doesn't mean the barrel shot out, but it means that it isn't shooting a half inch group anymore. It's maybe only shooting three quarter inch group. We go from that smaller, smaller size case, not the smallest cases, but a smaller size case. Let's jump from there, let's jump from there to kind of the absurd, absurdly, considerably over capacity case. Let's go to the 26 nozzler. Well, that's burning 80 some, 90 some grains of powder, depending on the burn rate of powder that you're using. And we're talking about velocities from about 2,700 feet a second in the smaller 6.5 Creedmoor up to the velocities, depending on bullet weight, with the 26 nozzle velocities up there to around 34, maybe over 3,400 feet a second but with double the powder charges, or maybe a little bit more than double the powder charge. Well, there's part of the problem right there. It's not necessarily the powder charge. It's not necessarily the bullet weight. It's not necessarily the amount of powder that we're using compared to something else. It's the pressures. Pressures also, and that just doesn't seem to come up in any conversations 
Like pressure has anything to do with barrel life, pressure has a considerable amount to do with barrel life. If we're using a cartridge that's loaded down in the 50,000 pound area pressure wise, if we're using that measurement of pounds pressure, we load another cartridge up to 65,000 pounds pressure, we're going to have a dif difference. Even if we take the same cartridge, let's say we take the 6.5 Creedmoor and we have loads for it that are only running 50,000 pounds and we've got loads that are running 65,000 pounds in the 6.5 Creedmoor, you're going to find out that the barrel that's being shot with the lower pressures, that barrel's going to last longer than the barrel is shot the same caliber but shot at higher higher pressures to higher a little higher a little more velocity, that barrel is going to show signs of accuracy fall off a bit sooner. And this is where it becomes just a little bit difficult for some people to understand. We've got a pressure issue here. If we're loading a 6.5 Creed more to 65,000 pounds pressure and a 26 Nosler to 65,000 pounds pressure. We're being led to believe with our Creed more because this seems to be the cartridge that seems to just do everything. In fact, I had somebody comment on one of my videos that even on its off days, the 6.5 Creed more will, will cure cancer. Well, the 6.5 Creedmoor is not that great that it's going to cure cancer, folks. I mean, this is how ridiculous it has gotten. And the reason that these comments are made is because they're coming from people that understand that there's a bunch of hype that's being thrown in, thrown in the game here. I pulled off thousands of rifle barrels and rebarreled re thousands of rifles over my lifetime, and I make it a point of finding out how many rounds fairly and squarely are through a rifle barrel. So I get a pretty good idea of how long a barrel lasts. We're being led to believe that a 6.5 Creedmoor will give you 3,500 to 4,500 rounds of accuracy life. This is nothing but silly. The average, rifle, the average rifle barrel, stainless rifle barrel, there's no way that you're going to get that kind of accuracy life out of the barrel. I'm not going to tell you exactly what you're going to get out of your barrel because I don't know how you're shooting that rifle. I don't know whether you're going out here and shooting, you know, fun and games, and you're only shooting a three-shot string and letting the barrel cool, or you're shooting shooting five shots and you're turning right around and shooting another five shots and turning right around and shooting another five shots for maybe a total of 25 rounds through that barrel and the barrel never cools off. The barrel's kept warm. That barrel is going to go quicker than a barrel where the loads are worked up for the barrel and the guy simply shoots a couple, three, four head a game a year with that rifle and maybe checks his rifle Let's say he shoots two boxes of, or three boxes of cartridges through the rifle in a year. That rifle barrel is going to last that guy longer than the fella that's going out here with his buddies for just fun and games every Saturday afternoon and shooting with his buddies. And the barrel is kept hot all the time. That barrel's going to go quick. So the barrel's probably going to go three or four times quicker than this other fella. The other thing is 416 quality rifle barrel steel, it machines easily, it rifles easily, it polishes easily, much easier than chrome molly steel, good, good hard chrome molly steel. And I haven't shot out a 6.5 Creedmoor, I haven't had an opportunity. There's not been an opportunity for somebody to bring me a barrel yet. I know of barrels that are shot out, 
and I know how many rounds have been shot through them, but I haven't seen the barrels, I haven't checked the barrels, I haven't rebarreled the rifles, but I discovered a, quite a lot of years ago, and I'm talking about 20 some odd years ago, that a lot of rifle barrels, irregardless of caliber, irregardless of, of velocities, but with cartridges that were loaded up to full pressure, full working pressure of that particular cartridge, that these barrels, most barrels in almost any caliber, the accuracy is gone somewhere in around the thousand round neighborhood. It's been a fact for probably 25 or 30 years now, guys shooting the super accurate little 6 PPC cartridge in, in light varmint and heavy varmint and unlimited bench rest shooting, that cartridge was always loaded to high pressure, up there to 62 to maybe 68,000 pounds, depending on loads. I know that the loads are this high. Guys that were doing this competition shooting were having three and four barrels put on their action at a time and chambered at the same time, and they started changing their barrels at 2,000 rounds because that barrel somewhere shortly after that was not going to be in the running to win, for instance, the super shoot, where these guys are going and competing for money, for prizes, and so forth. Those guys knew from experience, from having been there, having done it, when their barrel was going to be shot out, and they automatically had an extra barrel, they could change it right at the range. They hit the 2,000 round mark, they already had that other barrel, they'd already had fitted it up to that rifle, they'd already tested it, or they already had loads for it, and they would continue to compete at, say, one of these, one of these bench rest shoots to win. Well, if that little 6 PPC cartridge loaded up to full pressure, the barrel was shooting out by 2,000 rounds, how are you going to take a case that loads, that, that has 40 some, thou, I mean, 40 some grains of powder capacity and running bullets anywhere depending on what you're shooting between about 2,700 and about 3,100 feet a second, the 6.5 Creedmoor, and expect to get 4,000 rounds of accuracy life out of that barrel? I truthfully don't believe that it's happening. I believe that somebody's kidding themselves. I've replaced too many barrels by the thousand round mark cartridges this size. 270 size cartridges, 280 Remington size cartridges, 30-06 cartridges. What I'm trying to explain to you here is if you're loading up to higher pressures, that's the performance that you're getting out of that rifle. I really don't think from my experience of a lifetime and paying attention to these details that you're going to get these high number of rounds accuracy life through your barrel. You can maybe shoot that many rounds through the barrel, but that means that the barrel went from say a half minute of angle barrel to an inch and a half or two inch barrel. Well, that doesn't mean anything to you. You see, you can't compete in that category with that number of rounds, you know, shooting through a barrel. I believe that you'll find out that you'd be very surprised how quick a barrel shoots out. About 24 years ago, I built a 6.5 by 300 Weatherby. I never loaded anything in that rifle but 140 grain weight bullets of various different manufacturers. I loaded them in that rifle anywhere between about 3,350 feet a second, clear up to 3,650 feet a second. You didn't hear me wrong. I said 3,650 feet a second, 140 grain bullet and a 6.5 by 300 Weatherby. Well, the 26 Nosler 
here a few years ago, was supposed to be the hottest kid on the block. Well, the three seven, I mean the six five by three hundred Weatherby has been around for lots and lots of years, and they used it a time or two to win at a thousand yards, but they found out real soon that that barrel shot out real quick. My barrel was a good hard crow molly barrel, 29 inches long, and I saw accuracy starting to change. I was seeing flyers. I was seeing flyers at a little long further distance at 300 yard on a target, and that was explaining to me that the barrel was starting to go. Have a bore scope, a good bore scope. I bore scope the the barrel, the throat of that barrel, the full length of the barrel. Yeah, it's got it's got a, a reasonable amount of erosion at 260 rounds through that barrel. People have come out and said that a 26 nozzler was good for 1,500 to a couple thousand rounds. <laughs> Yeah, the barrel will be really shot out by then. It's probably about a 300 round accuracy life cartridge, the 26 and Osler. I build them for people. People just got to have them and one thing or another. But I know, I know from experience, I already have somebody that I built one for that the barrels, the barrels already, you know, went from a, a very accurate just under half minute angle barrel, it's already, already a, you know, an inch at just a little over 300 rounds. And so, people are repeatedly talking about this, but I don't think that they know. There are some barrel steels out there, not 416 quality rifle barrel steel, but there are other barrel steels. There's one steel that's basically described as a stainless. There's another steel or two that's a, a chrome molly steel that I know for a fact that the barrels will last longer made out of that particular steel. It's not steel that's available in, in, in this country, but it's being used in Germany to make rifle barrels. <clears throat> and I find longer accuracy life with those particular barrels. But anyway, that's about what I've got to say on barrel life. <laughs>